Let us pray. Eternal and all wise God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you this morning in the name of Jesus, thanking you for another opportunity just to call upon your holy and righteous name. We thank you, Lord, because we realize that we didn't deserve to be here today. Yeah, Lord. We didn't live so right. We weren't so holy. We didn't do everything you told us. And God, some stuff you told us to do, we left undone. My Lord. We ask right now, Father, that you have mercy on us, because mercy suits our case. We come to you this morning thanking you for another opportunity, Lord, to be on the radio. Thank you for another chance to get it right. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity, Lord, to share what, what you've laid on our heart. Pray and ask right now that you will strengthen us today. God, touch our body. In the name touch of our you. minds. Touch yeah, Lord. Touch our hearts and our souls. Yeah, Lord. Help us today, Lord God, not only to give, but to receive your word. Yeah. Help us, Father God, to be a conduit for your love. Glory. Lord, that somebody may come to know you in the part of their sins. God, help us realize, Lord, that if the world is to see you, they are to see you through us. Yeah, Lord. Because you said in your word that, Lord, we are to let our light so shine before men, mm. that they may see our good works and give you glory in heaven. Lord, you set us up as a city that sat on a hill mm. that cannot be hid. God, help us, Lord God, to shine today, not for our glory, but for yours. Yeah. Not for our purpose, but for yours. Not for our agenda, Lord, but for yours. We ask today, Father, that you would help us to do all that you've laid to our charge. Yeah, Lord. That you would give us the strength we need to carry on in spite of how we feel, in spite of what we're facing, in spite mm. of what we're going through. Lord, we ask right now that you would just be with us and stand by us. And Lord, not only stand by us, but God, stand up in us. Mm. We need you today, Lord God, and we can't make it without you. God, I need you. I need you to help me, Lord God, to yep, be the man Lord. you're calling for me to be. Yeah, Lord. Lord, have mercy today, Lord mercy, God. And Lord. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, because we need them both. We need grace, Lord God, in order to do the stuff you've called us to do. Mm. And we need mercy, Lord God, when we fall short. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you that David said, like this, goodness and mercy shall follow him all the days of his life. Yeah. And Lord, that goodness is your grace. And Lord, we all need your mercy. We thank you for them both today. Now, Lord, we pray and ask that you would bless, Lord God, not only, <coughs> Lord God, the hills, but bless, Lord God, the one who's going to bring the word today. God bless me, for I stand in need of a blessing today. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We appreciate you and we love you. And Lord, we don't tell you enough, but Lord, you mean the world to us. Help us, Lord God, to live lives that are pleasing to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Amen. I mean, truly, we kind of want to go reach his blessings just to be here and to be on the radio today. Amen. This is Deacon Sacconi Prince of the Trusted Partners Ministry of the Liberty Missionary Baptist Church. Well, the Reverend Dr. Clyde May Jr. is our very fine and esteemed pastor. We thank God for you, Pastor May, as always, for your unselfishness of sharing of this time and for another opportunity to allow the Lord to use us and give us or give what he's given to us. Uh, we are grateful to God for you. Thank God for your leadership and your and your mentorship. We want to say uh, good morning to everybody. Thank God for Reverend Robinson. Uh, thank God for him. He's faithful this day. Thank God for thank Brother Tony Carter Amen. and his stewardship and his radio ministry. We want to thank God for you, the listening audience. There are so many other things you could be doing, but you decided to take a moment to allow the Word of God to permeate your heart, and we are grateful to God for you today. And, of course, I can't go any further without saying anything about the church that God has allowed me the privilege to be a part of. That's the Liberty Missionary Baptist Church. And I do count it a privilege because I realized that God didn't have to, but he did. He allowed me to be a part of one of his greatest churches. If you have your Bibles with you, turn to John chapter 19. We have one verse that we're going to focus in on. Uh, that's going to be verse 30. But for your reading pleasure and your study time, if you could read verse 30 through 37, it'll do your soul good. John chapter 19, verse 30. And the word of the Lord reads, 
And when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Amen. That last part again says, And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. I want to talk today about he died. All right. Yes, sir. He died. Mm-hmm. I know we are coming up on the Easter celebration, the resurrection right. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the triumph over sin and over death. Yes, sir. We are about a week and a day out from that. Yes. But before we can truly appreciate Resurrection Sunday, Come on with it. we need to get a clear picture of what happened on Good Friday. Look at that. The reason that it was good is because mm -hmm. the price was paid. Yes, sir. That you and I couldn't pay. Amen. No matter how righteous you think you are, Lord Jesus. no matter how holy you pretend to be, mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is that uh -huh. if it had not been for the Lord on our side, yes, sir. where would we be? Yeah. Our text today comes mm -hmm. in on the last seconds All right. of our Savior's earthly existence. Yes, sir. Notice I said of his earthly existence. Because he gave up the ghost. Yes, sir. He died. He died. He didn't pass out. He didn't go into a coma. He didn't faint. No. He didn't lose consciousness. But he died. Yes, he did. He died. You know, I appreciate Dr. Luke for his <laughs> writings of the gospel. Look at that. Because he makes it oh so plain. Yes, he does. Even before a lot of us really knew what happens when the heart stops pumping. Mm -hmm. God had allowed him to pen yeah. what happens when, <laughs> when the heart stops beating. Mm -hmm. But not only does Dr. Luke record it, even in the Gospel of John, John. Yes, sir. It's recorded there as well. Because if you, if you tip on down to that 34th verse, uh -huh. it says, But one of the soldiers with the spear pierced his side. Yes, sir. And forthwith came out blood uh, and, and water. water. Hallelujah. Now, I know a lot of us aren't scientists. A lot of us don't know a lot about the human anatomy and how things in the body work. But um, as your heart is pumping now, all of your blood is constantly being circulated through your body. All right. It's, it's pretty much being mixed over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. With every beat of your heart, your blood is flowing to every extremity of yeah. your body. But when the heart stops beating, uh -huh. when the heart stops palpitating, when the heart stops doing this thump, thump, yeah. there's a settling that occurs. Look at that. What happens is the plasma and the blood separates. Look at And so what you get is you get uh, two substances, if you will. <laughs> and that's what the gospel writers, they record him when they say, after he was pierced, out came blood and water. Yeah. That lets us know beyond the shadow of a doubt that our Lord was dead. Amen. His heart has stopped beating. Glory. He had given up the ghost. As I said before, he wasn't just faking. No. He wasn't just in a state of a coma. No, no. I remember talking to a friend of mine who, who's actually he's a paramedic and and, and and you know one of the things that he he told us a couple of things that he, that you know they would do to kind of see see if somebody was really having an episode or if they were just faking. All right. And one of the things he mentioned that sometimes they just take a couple of drops of alcohol and just drop it in their eye. Wow. So if they were acting, if they were just acting out and acting crazy, that would bring them back to their senses. Mm -hmm. But 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 given what we're talking about today, had Jesus been faking? All right. Had he been slumped? Had he been playing possum, as the old um, folks say? Um, 
when he got stuck in the side, he would immediately holler and scream. Yes, sir. He would immediately say something. His body would have reacted. He would have twitched. Something would have happened had he been alive. Uh-huh. But there was no movement. No, sir. There was no reaction. He gave it up. There was yes, nothing. He died. Yes, sir. He was dead. Mm. He gave up the ghost. The ghost. Yeah, yeah. If you look at all of the gospel accounts from Matthew to Mark to Luke Dude. and John, hey. all of them record the fact that Jesus gave up the ghost. <laughs> all of them record the fact that Jesus Die. Uh -huh. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Glory. Had he not been dead, his 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 <laughs> enemies who were standing by, reveling, yeah. looking and watching, had he not died, Hallelujah. they would have made sure mm -hmm. that he was dead. Glory to God. But the thing about it is, he was. Amen. He did die. He died. Until death was satisfied. Look out, look he out. died until God's justice had been satisfied. Hallelujah. He died until the payment for your sins and my sins was paid in full. full. Hallelujah. There's nothing left to pay. All right. There's <laughs> nothing else that you or I can add to what he has already yeah. done. Free. Don't be fooled. Don't have people tell you that look that there's something else you got to do in order to be saved other than believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because I tell you, his payment was enough. Amen. The Heavenly Father looked down on his son and then actually at one point he had to turn away. All right. But he turned away from him so he could turn to us. Glory. He had to look away from his only son so he could look on you and I today. Mm -hmm. He couldn't. God sent his son into this world to die. Yes, sir. John 3.16 said, For God so loved the world that yes, he sir. gave yeah. his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Mm. The giving of his son was the payment for our sins. Yes, sir. And Jesus paid it Peter. in full. Mm -hmm. There was no tab left. There was nothing <laughs> left. There was nothing left to pay. Put your wallet back in your Let pocket. Die. Put your little change purse back in your purse. <laughs> There's nothing else that, that needed to be done nah, to secure our nah, salvation. Nah, nah, nah. When Jesus died, yeah. he paid it all. Yes, sir. And all to him we owe. Yeah. Sin had left a crimson stain. Yes, it did. But his blood nah, nah, nah. washed it white. white as snow. So when we look at and consider... What the Lord did for us. All right. When we look at and consider how he purposefully and meaningfully, yeah, he didn't go to the cross kicking and screaming. No, he didn't. But he went there willingly <gasps> on your half and on my behalf. Hey, 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 if hey, God hey. had not done that, hmm. where would we be? I would probably be somewhere sleeping in a pine box, sleeping in my grave. Mm. Had not the Lord died for me. But what about you today? You know, one of the things I really like to do is try to, I, I like to try to make stuff personal. Because oftentimes we get lost in the crowd. Mm. We'll just kind of get, get lost. And, and, you know, and, you know, Sunday morning sometimes you have a mix of people in the church. All right. You have some that are there just to see what's going on. Yeah. Some come to see what people wearing, <laughs> what people saying, how people act. Yeah. But then there are some who come there to hear a word yes, from sir. the Lord. Yes, sir. There are some that come there with the purpose of, God, I want to get closer to you. Mm. And this is the best place I've found to be able to do that. Some people come to church to serve. They come to church to be a blessing to other people. They don't just come for what they can get. They come for what they can give because they realize they've already received something from God. And because of that, they are willing to make that sacrifice yes, and come out to the word of God. But what about you today? What has Jesus done for you? What did he save you from? All right. What did he deliver you from? Glory. What did he bring you out of? Because I tell you, if you can't answer that question, you need to make your way to the foot of the cross. Nah, nah, nah. You need to make your way to the place to where you see the one who hung, bled, and died for you. You need to make your way to the foot of the cross where you can see, even as the Roman soldier said, this must be 
the Son of God. You know, it's one thing for you to live a life, for right. people to, in fact, to talk good about you. It's another thing for you to live in such a way to where even the naysayers, even the critics, even the people that don't even know you, say there was something different about them. All right. There was something that made a difference in just who they were and how they acted. There was something to peculiar about them. They didn't act like everybody else. They didn't respond like everybody else. Can that be said about you today? Jesus lived in such a way. Not only did he live in such a way, he died in such a way the way there was a witness and a testimony All right. to the fact that God is able to do anything but fail. Yes, sir. Just because the devil thought he had you pinned down. Mm. He thought you were down for the count. All he right. thought you. He thought he had you dead to rights. But the Lord came in and showed up. Yeah, and not only did he show up, he showed out. You see, sin had us bound. Yeah. We were hell bound. We were in chains and fetters. Yeah. We couldn't move. We couldn't twitch. We couldn't even get away. But the Lord Jesus, he came and he died for us. Yeah. He paid the ultimate price for your sins and mine. He made a way out of nowhere. When you and I were doomed to a, a Christless eternity, when we were doomed to hell without God, he sent his only son to die for us. Yes, he died. Yeah, he did. He died. He didn't part die. He didn't half die. He wasn't half dead. He died. he died all the way. He died in full because he paid our price in full. Uh -huh. Jesus died. Yeah. He died. I want that to soak into your heart and your spirit. He died for you. He died so that you could have a right to the tree of life. He died so that you could be saved. He died so that you didn't have to pay the price for your sins. He died. He paid it for you. He died. But my question is, have you accepted his gift of salvation. Have you accepted the payment that he made? Have you accepted what he did on your behalf? Mm -hmm. Have you accepted? Because if you hadn't accepted it, you're going to have to pay the price yourself. You're going to be responsible for, for paying a tab in full. You know, I'm, I'm in fact reminded of a story about this guy who owed a department store a lot of money. He couldn't pay them the money and somebody paid it off for him. They paid off his bill. Mm -hmm. So when he went in one day, he was going to try to make a little payment on it. He had about $5. He owed about $5,000. But when he went in to pay, they said, sir, I'm sorry, but you don't have a balance. He was scratching his head. It's like, well, I don't understand. He said, well, they said somebody came and they paid it for you. Mm -hmm. You don't owe us anything. As far as we're concerned, you have, you have no debt with us. Mm -hmm. now, 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 what am I trying to say? As far as God's concerned. If we've accepted his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we don't owe God anything. But we, we owe Christ everything. Because he, he died for us, we ought to be able to live for him. He died, I tell you. He died and saved our soul. He died and made it possible for us to be able to live eternity with the Lord. My question is, have you accepted his gift of salvation? Hello. Have you accepted the price that he paid? Mm -hmm. Have you accepted what he did for you? But you know, I couldn't, I wouldn't do this any justice if I ran out of here without telling you, not only did he die, not only did he pay the price, mm -hmm. not only was he, was he hung on the Roman cross, not only was he pierced in the side, not only was he, in fact, was he pierced in his hands and his feet, not only was there a crown of thorns placed on his head, not only was he beaten, spat upon, not only was he whipped on the back until his back looked like hamburger meat, mm. not only that, he, he did all that, but not only that, they took him down from that old rugged cross and they put him in a borrowed tomb. That tomb no one had, no one had, had ever been in. It was a borrowed tomb. Why? Why was it borrowed? Because he was going to give it back. Yeah. Because he wasn't going to stay dead. Yes, he died, but he didn't stay dead. He got up mm -hmm. that third day morning. He got up that Sunday morning. He got up with all power in his hands. Yes, he stayed in the grave all night that Friday. Mm -hmm. He stayed in the grave all day that Saturday. He stayed in the grave all day that Saturday, all night that Saturday night. But early Sunday morning, yes, yes, he got up. Yeah. He got up, I tell you. He wanted to make sure that we were able to get yeah. the inheritance that he purchased for us. Not only did he buy it, but... but he wanted to make sure that we were able to get it and receive it. He got up, I tell you. God was satisfied with his sacrifice. God would not leave his soul in hell. Right. But God brought him up. He brought him back. He laid his life down, but he picked it up again. He died for you. 
but he also got up for you. My question to you is, have you tried him today? Have you asked him in your heart? Have you said, Lord, I need you. Right. Lord, I can't make it without you. God, if you don't help me, I can't stay in the storm. Lord, if you don't help me, I can't make it. Have you tried him today? Have you realized that he died for you? Yeah, we're going to celebrate like the Resurrection Sunday. But, but, but don't run past Good Friday. A lot of people want to show up at the party, but nobody want to go help set up. Don't forget that he gave his all for you. So why don't you give your all for him? This has been Dickie Sacone, the Prince of the Trusted Partners Ministry of the Liberty Missionary Baptist Church, where the Reverend Dr. Clyde May Jr. is our very refined pastor. And just to reiterate what Reverend Robinson said, we are having our Gulf Coast Empowerment Conference, a men's conference. Right. You do not want to miss this conference. I tell you, you don't want to miss this conference. You're not going to like yourself if you miss it. Amen. Tell every man you know, every boy, tell, tell all of them that they need to be here. July 31st, August 1st and 2nd, you need to be at that conference because God's going to have a mighty move for you waiting on you. Just come expecting. Now we turn back on your hands, Brother Carr. Child of the week,